one thing that humbles me to the core is the realization that what i pray for is being heard by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator of this absolutely magnificent universe and the realization gets undeniable when the dream of being invited to the house of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gets real like i used to pray to go to saudi afirma and praying right in front of kaaba was a dream but i had never imagined what will i do if this happens and how will i feel about this what will be this experience kind of this is a huge dream i guess for every muslim and once you get the confirmation of your journey you are in this moment where you have no differentiation between what's real and what's the dream even when you're walking towards the plane you feel like you're just dreaming the experience becomes surreal when you realize that you are in the clouds above thousands of feet of ground just to land in the holy city of mecca in the hustle and bustle of life it's not easy to stay calm and clear headed i guess I often felt overwhelmed by life's challenges and pressures so i sought peace through a stronger connection with allah This spiritual journey not only brought me comfort but also taught me that surrendering to Allah's decision makes me stronger and helps me see that there are no true failures only lessons and opportunities for growth my search for peace uh, started when life started getting really hectic and i was looking for a way to find peace amidst the chaos trying to meet expectations and dealing with daily stresses left me feel drained it was during these tough times that i turned to my faith hoping to find solace in my relationship with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i started praying more reflecting on the teachings of islam and reading the quran and the sayings of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as i delved into my faith something beautiful happened inside me i realized that true peace comes from trusting allah recognizing his wisdom and accepting that his plan is at work in every part of our lives a crucial lesson in this journey was learning about tawakkul which means putting complete trust in a last plan surrendering to his decisions meant understanding that every challenge success or setback is a part of a bigger picture that i might not fully grasp at that very moment This surrender gave me the strength to believe that there are no failures in Allah's eyes. Every experience is an opportunity for personal as well as spiritual growth. Tawakkul is like letting go of worries and putting your trust in Allah. It's not just about accepting what comes your way. It's actively believing that Allah knows what's best for you. You do your best, but the ultimate plan is in Allah's hands. At its core, tawakkul is about knowing that Allah's wisdom is way wiser than our understanding. It's like saying I'll do my part, but I trust Allah to guide the way. Tawakkul is choosing faith over fear and acknowledging that every situation, good or tough, is part of a bigger plan. For me, practicing tawakkul means uh, letting go of the need to control everything. It's about trusting Allah while taking sensible actions the surrender isn't giving up it's finding strength in vulnerability believing that a lost plan is better than my own whatever i am thinking whenever problems showed up i found comfort in the buckle instead of panicking i reminded myself that allah is my guide challenges became chances to grow spiritually and setbacks were like arrows pointing into something better Living by the vehicle has been a transformative experience, shaping the outcomes of my decisions and the way I navigate life's uncertainties. As I embraced the concept, positive changes began to unfold in subtle yet significant ways. Decisions made with sincerity and trust in Allah's plan took on a new dimension. It was as if my guiding light illuminated my path, allowing me to make choices that were in alignment with my values and beliefs
This newfound clarity brought surprising outcomes that surpassed my expectations, revealing the intricate workings of Allah's wisdom in every aspect of my life. One of the most noticeable shifts was the lifting of the heavy burden of uncertainty that often accompanies decision making. Instead of being weighed down by doubts and fears about the future, I found solace in the trust I placed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The constant worry about whether I was making the right choices or anticipating every possible outcome faded away. In its place, a profound sense of peace settled within me, knowing that I had entrusted my journey to a higher power. The sense of peace wasn't just a fleeting emotion, but a steady undercurrent that accompanied me through both smooth sailing and stormy seas. It became a source of resilience, allowing me to face challenges with a calm and composed spirit. Rather than succumbing to anxiety in the face of uncertainty, I found peace and strength in the certainty that Allah's wisdom surpasses my understanding and His plan is always unfolding for my ultimate good. In the tapestry of life, the Vakkul became the thread that wove through every experience, connecting me to a sense of purpose and trust in the divine order. The surprises and positive shifts merely weren't coincidences but reflections of the harmony that emerged when decisions were made in sincere reliance on Allah. As I reflect on this journey, I realize that tawakkul isn't just a concept to be understood, it's a practice that transforms the way we approach life. It's an ongoing journey of trust and surrender, where each step taken with sincerity becomes a testament to the power of placing one's faith in Allah's infinite wisdom. Put your trust in Allah and remember that He is in control of all things. You will never have to worry about anything when you know that the creator of everything has your back, says Yasmin Majai. Contrary to what society often tells us about power and control. I found real strength in letting go and l trusting Allah. Surrendering didn't make me weak. It made me resilient, knowing that Allah's decisions are based on love and wisdom helped me face challenges with patience and grace. Every trial became a chance to get closer to Him, realizing that He is the ultimate source of guidance and support. With surrender as my guide, I started noticing positive changes in my life. Decisions that used to confuse me became clearer and obstacles turned into chances for personal and spiritual growth. Knowing that Allah's plan is perfect for my unique journey gave me a sense of direction that went beyond the uncertainties of everyday life. Sometimes Allah closes doors because it's time to move forward. He knows you won't move unless your circumstances force you. Trust the transition. God's plan is always the best plan. Says Yasmin Majai.